Halo's TV show was announced at E3 2013. That was about five years ago, and in short, it's been in development hell. Now, that isn't confirmed, but come on. Now, if you don't know what development hell is, it's a cryptic desolation where projects as risky as Halo's TV show go to die, as the Halo movie did years ago. We've heard like three different times that the TV show was still in active development. Then we heard that it was greenlit by Showtime. Wait, what? Wasn't it already? Wasn't it in active development? Apparently not. So, fell in hell, man. They announced, thankfully, later that the project would be filmed in fall 2018. But then, to make matters worse, Rupert Wyatt, the director of the Planet of the Apes series, left the TV show, claiming that the show wasn't within his framework of time he originally agreed upon. However, after he left, he said, There's an immense TV show to be made there. It's an ambitious one for a show, and they're gonna get to a place where they're gonna line budget with creative. He actually explained recently why he left, and I am paraphrasing here, but essentially, he didn't know much about Halo lore, and decided to leave because it would take too much time to absorb all that information. So it's probably a good thing he left, right? Because it probably would have been a little bit wonky. But frankly, this TV show is now in hot water now that we have some news that came out recently. But before we get into that, let's talk about the Black Mirror Auto Bathurst director. He is taking over. He did the National Anthem episode, which he got a 7.8 out of 10 rating on out of 35,000 votes on IMBD. And keep in mind, he wasn't the writer and there's a lot of aspects that go into an episode. So regardless, he might actually be a fit for the job making a great Halo TV show uh, despite the 7.8 rating. But of course today we have another curveball. VG247 so gracefully reminded us on a recent article that this show could easily fall apart any moment but now it's looking more and more like the TV show is going to go through. 343 executive producer Kiki Wolfkill on a panel at the Reboot Develop and she discussed how they're approaching the adaptation. And VG reports, respecting the canon is one of 343's main priorities, but not at the expense of doing what makes sense. For example, the Halo games never let us see Master Chief's face, adding to the character's mystique, if people called John can have a mystique. But would that work in television, they say. There are occasions where he showers, Wolfkill laughed. Joking aside, there are some details that we may shift, but we want to respect fans and what they love about the IP. But also added, we may shift dates, locations, and ethnicity of characters. And now everyone is losing their damn minds. Now, honestly, this did concern me, and it should probably concern any average Halo fan as well, especially if you're invested in the lore and canon. This show should be a representation of the canon. The story should be aligned with the canon 100%, not outside of it, not on the side, not some show that's somehow portraying itself as the official Halo TV show, yet with different locations and dates. The word shift to dates, locations, and characters is alarming because it implies that the story will be out of touch, out of alignment with us, the fans, the lore itself in the story could easily fall apart, and needless to say, would probably lose the momentum or excitement by the fans that they are making this TV show for. Because trust me, outside of the average sci-fi viewers and some gamers and some ex-Halo gamers and Halo fans, probably not a whole lot of people will be invested into this unless they do it very, very, very well. Now, in their defense, however, casting for any show or movie is rarely easy, especially with an existing story like Halo and an existing fan base to respect. But having good actors that fit the role regardless of the color of their skin is priority, it seems. So if they have a white Sergeant Johnson, they might go ahead and do that. Now, does that matter a whole lot to me personally? No. Some people really like the fact that, you know, certain characters are certain skin colors. Honestly, I really don't think that matters a whole lot, and uh, changing dates and locations may be super helpful, considering it's a video game that they're trying to portray, and depending on what story they're trying to tell specifically with this TV show, it could help a lot, it could go a long way. Remember, they are making a movie or a TV show 
uh, from a video game. So there might be some inconsistencies there and things that don't play as well on the TV screen than it does on a first person shooter game, right? But with that being said, they still need to respect the lore as it is because if they change the canon or at least they change the TV show's canon for the sakes of that story, not only will people be confused, but the show itself will not be an extension of lore, rather just a cool thing to look at, and thus it will die very quickly after release, and no one will really remember it. So with all these concerns in mind, it's Bobby Darren said on Resetera.com, can't they do it with the new characters? I don't understand the rationale. I think he's addressing the ethnicity or the background change of the story itself and Frank O'Connor responded with the account of Stinkles. Beneath his spoiler tag here he says, I won't be commenting on any of this for a while, but we're not going to do stunt casting or shifting ethnicity of characters just for the lols or clicks or controversy. Kiki is right on the money and that will be casting based on who works best for the role, period. Let's take a step back real quick. Uh, yeah, so just really absorb that information. They said they'll be casting based on who works best for the role, regardless of their race. Uh, and I continue, and quote, we will be casting people who look and sound a lot like their existing characters are described or shown. And that's it from me. No comment, no elaboration till later, at which point I will be crystal clear. Now I have mixed feelings about this. Of course, I want the show to be really, really great, but also like don't bother Showtime if it's gonna be, you know, thrown together in a clunky, unsoulful or non-canon fashion. So what do you guys think about all this news? Are you excited about this show? Maybe worried? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, later.